Hi, I'm Karen Shonen. I'm at Cal Poly Pomona west of Building 4, the Science Building, at a garden that features plants that have adapted to living in a dry, arid environment, such as our hillside chaparrales and our deserts. Plants have evolved in desert ecosystems due to two main factors, one being high and fluctuating temperatures, and another extremely low water availability. Desert plants are called xerophytes. Adapt Adaptations develop over time and generations as a response to ever-changing environments. These adaptations allow an organism to reduce competition for space and nutrients, reduce predation, and increase production. I will show you adaptations using these plants as an example. I have also included some of the placards to illustrate how the native Californians use these plants for food, tools, and medicines. As you can see, these cacti have a waxy covering called an enhanced cuticle, which prevents water loss. Needles and hairs, which discourage herbivores and increase boundary layer effects. In the brittle bush, you can see hair-like projections called trichomes that create a thick boundary layer which will deflect heat. Superstition Malin has pubescent leaves that reflect sunlight and reduce water loss. Succulents have fleshy stems that enable them to store water for long periods of time. Some other adaptations that plants in the desert have are long vertical roots enabling a plant to reach water sources beneath the soil. It could have shallow radial roots that extend horizontally which maximize water absorption at the surface. Also they can have ephemeral leaves these are leaves lasting a markedly brief time, sometimes only a day. Also, leaf polymorphism, in which broad leaves are formed when soil moisture is high, and narrow leaves when the water is all used up. Another adaptation is rotating leaves, which enable the plant to orient its leaves away from maximum exposure to the sun. For the rest of the video, I'll let you enjoy the music and the pictures and read the placards. Thank you.